All right, Captain Adam here, Real to Real Outdoors. We're gonna talk a little bit about a seven color that now has to go outside a 10 color and a 200 copper. And what we're gonna do is swim the board across. So we got our ninja boards on here, a small ninja on the seven color. I have a big, bigger ninja on the 10 color and the 200. So first thing we're gonna do, I like to put it in the water and keep a little bit of tension on it, keep the board swimming. It also helps the lead core to not sink. It'll start to plane out more at its angle that it'll run at. There's a couple different theories on this. Some guys just free spool them down the back. I don't like to do it because I think I get more tangles that way, but it, it is a method that works as well. If you keep a little bit of tension on the board, It'll also keep the board uh, positioned to, to swim. It'll keep the board from you know, flipping underneath or, or anything like that. Keep it from getting tangled on the way out. So we'll get out a little ways. I like to just turn the drag, start tightening the drag a little bit. I'll help that board to start to swim out to the side. So now you can see that we're clear of the 10 color. So what we can do is tighten that drag up. We're gonna to wanna to watch that board, just make sure it swims into the right spot. If anything, let it out a little bit too far. And then once it starts to swim out past, you can always reel it back in. So we'll put it in the rod holder, put our clicker back on. Always checking the drag, make sure the drag's not too tight. And there, it's pretty close. It's still got a little ways to go. Where... But that's the idea. Uh, make sure the boards have good clearance on each other. Also, um, you know, always watching the loop from the rod tip to the board itself and make sure that the board in front of it isn't gonna try and jump over that loop. We use all braided backer. Uh, helps it cut through the line without catching a lot of wind. Or cut, uh, we use all braided backer, so that helps the line not catch wind and get the big bow in it. So you'll, you'll see the loop uh, from the tip to the rod is a lot smaller. That's a lot of times what happens when your board jumps. So hope this helps. Stay tuned for more info.